So a lot of churches are looking to have a really great professional live stream, but they want it to be easy and simple. They don't want their volunteers that have little or no experience with a lot of technology, a lot of streaming software, and all of the ins and outs of control panels on YouTube, on Facebook, and all of this stuff. They don't want them to have to deal with that stuff, but it's kind of the reality for a lot of churches that you have to go through a lot of control panels. But I'm gonna show you today how you can start live streaming your church services with one, two, even four or eight camera setups by pushing just one button. And uh, we're gonna show you that today. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so stick around. We're gonna get right into it. So getting started today, the first thing that I wanna show you is how most people live stream, the things that they have to go through to get the live stream going on YouTube. And then once we have that set, what, what is normally expected, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a single button push. And there is a caveat to that, but we'll get into it in a second. It's, it's a small caveat, but let's look at how normally, if you're using like the A10 Mini Pro Kit or the A10 Mini Extreme Kit, um, this is what you'd have to do to live stream on YouTube. So we're gonna to go to our computer, and here I have the ATEM control software pulled up. And basically what I'm gonna do is, uh, we have our stream key in there, we're going to YouTube. And to do a single button push, what you're gonna to have to do is click on air, which is right here. And now, as you can see on the streaming software, um, we are sending a signal to YouTube. The counter is going, which means that YouTube has received our stream. And we can see that our upload speed is really great. Everything seems to be going good. So I'm gonna come over to my YouTube control panel and I'm gonna show you that if I was live right now, then that video should show up right here under live streams. These are all my previous live streams if I was actually live, if people could actually see the live stream, it would show up here under live stream. But as you can see, I can refresh over and over again. There's no video live on my channel right now. And that is because I haven't logged into the control panel and clicked publish on the YouTube video. Now that's, that's one thing that you need to remember is that YouTube and Facebook, they all kind of require this publishing, um, practice where you click the button to push it live uh, on Facebook. That's like clicking publish or post or whatever on YouTube. You click go live in the control panel with you not having the control panel pulled up in YouTube. It doesn't matter that YouTube is receiving your signal. It's still not going live. So in order to make it go live, this is what I have to do. Now I'm going to um, push the off button so that I stop the stream. And I'm gonna leave the same stream key, everything's still the same. I'm gonna log into YouTube, and now I'm going to click this, um, this uh, create button and go live, which is gonna take me to the live control panel. Now, if I have this control panel open and I start streaming, I'm gonna go push the uh, go live button, and you can see that I'll start getting a signal to YouTube. The ATEM says that it is now online. Oh, it's not working. And there's a reason it's not working. It's because I have the wrong stream key. I've got to go down here to live stream. And this is another thing like YouTube will confuse you over stream keys all day long. I'm going to copy this, hide this again, come back over here, paste this in, make sure it's the right one. And now um, go on air. And we should see, there it goes. Now, because I'm in the control panel, you see up here in the top right, it says in stream. This means that I am actually live. So I'm gonna open up that studio again, just to show you what it will look like. Um, I'm gonna come down to my content in my channel control panel, go to live. And you can see I have a live stream going here now. I'm live now, but I have to have this window open or it's not gonna go live like that. So there is a way around this. I'm gonna stop the stream and I'm gonna click in stream here. There is a way around this, uh, but it requires a lot of work and you can also have um, even more confusing time with stream keys. And that is to go down here and schedule streams in advance. So you can come in and schedule these manually in advance and uh, go through all of this. I'm gonna to go to the next, next visibility. I'm gonna put it to unlisted, schedule it for some time in the future at 3 p.m. 
and click done. Now I have this stream scheduled to start on March, March 30th at three o'clock PM and I have auto start enabled. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to choose uh, my live stream key again. I think that's the one that I'm using. Um, I'm going to copy it and paste it over here just in case paste. And I'm going to go on air with the ATEM Mini. It's going to tell me over here that I have an excellent connection. I am now live right here. Thankfully, I put it unlisted. But because I had auto start enabled, as soon as it got a signal, it went live. The reason this is confusing is because if you were to schedule multiple streams in advance, um, you're going to have to have a different stream key for each one of those streams or... As soon as you send uh, the signal from the A10 Mini, it's going to start the one that has that stream key. And you could possibly start all of your live streams at once or start the wrong one. It can just get really confusing. And so there's a lot of manual control that has to happen behind the scenes here in the in the YouTube control panel. Same with Facebook. Facebook, you have to log in. You have to make sure that the stream key is right and all of that. And so there's just a little bit of manual work here. It's not difficult to do it. It just requires a lot of concentration. With that said, I want to show you how to use a tool called Restream to bypass all of that and make it super simple. So I'm going to go over here to now to the Restream dashboard. Now, when you, when you go to Restream, I'm just going to... Um, go to Restream IO. When you log in, you're probably going to see a, a page that looks like this. What we want to click on is this button. So that was uh, that was the setup for OBS, Zoom, etc. cetera, um, multi-stream with third-party software. You just want to come over here and do this. Now in here is all of your channels. You can see we've got our church channel here um, and we've got church set up here. Now I haven't streamed to these in a long time. So um, I'm going to edit the settings here and see privacy. I'm going to put it as unlisted um, just so hopefully it doesn't go public with me doing this test here. But if it does and you see it, that's okay. I'm going to edit the Facebook settings. Um, and uh, I'm just going to change this to uh, uh, it's picking up. I changed the titles of everything before. I'm going to change this to uh, just testing. I'm going to collect all of this, just say testing. So once you set this, um, I have two different companies here. So um, I'm doing it individually like that. Um, but you can actually come up here to update titles and you can say testing. And I'm just going to leave this here because this is what I use over and over again at our church. I don't want to delete it. Um, so now... I have title testing on both of these. I'm going to double check this one just to make sure that it's still unlisted. Yep. Um, okay. Now, I want to be able to just stream just pushing one button, right? So I want to copy my stream key here from from uh, from Restream, and I'm going to come over and um, I'm going to change this to Restream.io, and I'm going to paste in that stream key there, and now. I want to come in here and I want to turn this one on. Okay. We're just going to do YouTube. I'm going to ignore Facebook. I'm going to turn this on. Okay. And now it's just sitting there, right? It's just sitting there, nothing happening, but watch, I am going to push this one button and I want you to watch what happens on the screen here. So we're just going to push on air. So I come into church. Um, I turn all the cameras on whatever I have to do. And when we're ready to start the stream, I push that button. It goes on air. Now we're going to watch restream is going to get the uh, feed. That's the feed from our A10 mini pro. And you can see on the YouTube thing, it's sending data and now it's online. And so if I come over here to my YouTube control panel and I refresh, we're going to have a live stream going called testing. So, um, what I had to do manually before the restream software is doing it all automatically. Now, um, watch now. I'm going to come back to the A10 Mini Pro here, and I'm going to hit off and in the stream. So it's going to turn off. Now that went off. And now when we come back to restream, you can see we are uh, not streaming anymore, and that church setup is now offline. When we come over to our channel content, that, that stream should drop down here. 
and testing should be something that happened in the past, as you can see here and uh, and here. <laughs> and uh, and those are just old on streams. Now, let's say it's next week. I come in and all I got to do is push on air. And now on air, the software says that we're streaming. The counter is going. If I refresh this now, I should see a live stream on again. And we have another live stream going. You can see that because Restream is doing that all automatically. And so um, that is how you do it with one button push. Now, Restream does have a cost. I think the initial cost is like $16 a month or something like that. You can go to churchsetup.com slash restream and use our affiliate link or just check the link in the description. But that is how you do just a one button push live stream through restream. It is super, super, super easy. Um, once you have that set up, as long as you leave that toggle switch on, uh, whenever restream receives a signal from the ATEM mini, it tells YouTube to go live. Um, you can do the same with Facebook. If I was to toggle Facebook on, then it's going to tell Facebook to go live. Now, I'm not going to do that because I can't control the, the privacy of Facebook. But if I was to toggle that on, when I hit go live on my A10 Mini, then both YouTube and Facebook would immediately go live with the stream from the A10 Mini. And when I'm done, all I got to do is hit the off button and it stops. It goes offline and finalizes everything. It is easy, 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 easy to do that. And that's what we do at our church every week. We, uh, we have these toggled on by default. I update the titles and I put something like Sunday worship or something like that. Um, and I leave those titles, same description every time and it saves it. And now those are toggled on as soon as it receives signal, which I'm not going to send signal to, or I'll go live on our church channels. <laughs> as soon as it receives signal, then um, those go live on our Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. So that's how you can live stream your, uh, your setups, no matter how many cameras you have or whatever. If you're using the A10 Mini Pro or the A10 Mini Extreme, you just push a button and it goes live. Same with recording. Um, if you have that disc set up, I'll show you that here. Let me, um, let me come back to my iPhone. And uh, if you want to record your services and you have the disc that we include in most of the kits, sometimes it's a different disc, but it's, it's all the same one terabyte SSD. If you want to record, there's a green light that says the disc is ready. You just hit record and now it's recording whatever is showing on your camera one, right? And when you're done recording, you hit stop. And now you have a video file on this hard drive of your recording of your service that day. It is really, really that simple. And so that's what I recommend for people that want a simple operation. You don't have to run through OBS. You don't have to run through vMix. You don't have to open up YouTube control panels. You don't have to do anything. You set up Restream one time. You make sure those toggles are on. You pick whatever platforms, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, Twitter, whatever platforms you want to live stream to. You get all of that set up, toggle those switches on. And then whenever you go live on the A10 Mini, it automatically in the background does all of that manual stuff for you and you go live with a touch of a button. I hope that's helpful. I know it makes our life super simple. Hopefully it makes your life a little super simpler moving forward, if that's a word. And uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye. So yeah, I just got done shooting this video and then I forgot that I didn't actually tell you what you should do if you want to get one of these kits with the AT Mini Pro. So at churchsetup.com, we actually sell complete bundles. So it's everything in the box, all in one. And uh, we have systems based on the AT Mini Pro if you want up to four cameras or on the A10 Mini Extreme if you want to be able to have up to eight inputs. And uh, there's a few extra things on the Extreme as well. But we have fully built kits that you can take out of the box, plug in, and you're ready to stream. You can go to churchsetup.com to find all of those. If you have any questions about live streaming, especially when it comes to churches or event venues or educational things and stuff like that, we service, um, we have Harvard as a client, a lot of churches as clients. Um, 
If you have any questions about live streaming, anything, just leave that in the comments below and uh, we'll try to answer your questions and we might even take your question and make a video out of it and show it how, show how all of that's done. But anyway, um, I wanted to jump in and tell you to do that. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel as well. I'm just telling you all kinds of stuff to do, aren't I? S subscribe to the channel, um, like and share, all of that stuff. Give it a thumbs up and, uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.